Danny Segura for MMAJunkie.com. I'm here with Jenna Fabian, who's fighting in the semifinals of, of the PFL Women's Lightweight Final. Uh, first of all, Jenna, um, how are you feeling entering this fight? I mean, the season's over, the playoffs are here. You're just one fight away from the final and, and getting ready to fight for a million dollars. That's it. Uh, mission three. You know, they've uh, I've been preparing, you know, for uh, many years for this. And last year, like I mentioned in the press conference, you know, we uh, the the season got caught off, the world got shut down, and we didn't. Uh, we saw that as a blessing, more time to just prepare me for um, the season, which we've been anticipating. And now we're in the thick of it. Um, one fight to go uh, until I'm in the final. And so, um, yeah, preparations been amazing uh, tough tough a, a format like this requires a lot of you all of you you know physically mentally your nutrition um, your sacrifices with everything and you know person life you don't have one so you know um, this is this is one of the best moments and times of my life so I'm relishing in it and uh, I'm taking it for what it is because uh, yeah you know who knows who knows when we'll get an opportunity to to be a part of this or do something like this again don't take this for granted of course, yeah, and you live in New Zealand. Um, how did you do this training camp? Obviously, New Zealand has a very uh, a tough quarantine, right? How were you able to work, work around that? Um, how was your camp uh, this time around? Uh, yeah, so in lead up for Kayla, I uh, went back home to uh, City Kickboxing, returned back to Auckland. Um, you know, we've got a, we've, like you mentioned, we've got a two-week quarantine process in New Zealand. Um, that's... Uh, not fun. Um, we were able to, you know, obviously get everything we needed to be able to train in there and maintain. I let my body come down from the last couple of camps, uh, but, um, you know, no time off. And then bang, it was straight back in to the Shark Tank with everybody uh, at the gym at City. So, um, you know, I had some of the most amazing training partners prepare me for this killers in our gym. BJ Bland, a name that you'll know next year. He'll be part of the PFL roster. Um, Bo Walker, Brad Riddell, um, some amazing uh, grapplers and some of, uh, yeah, some, some uh, real killers um, amongst our gym that help prepare us uh, for many of our fights coming up. So, yeah, yeah, yeah tough. But great. No, certainly City Kickboxing, a uh, stacked gym. And I'm going to ask you a, a little bit about that in a second. Um, but let's talk about Kayla Harrison. Um, you're a big underdog entering this fight. Um, how do you feel about that, about entering uh, the fight as an underdog? Do you relish on it? Do you don't pay attention to it? Uh, how do you feel about that? I really don't pay attention to it. It's irrelevant, you know. People's expectations or dismissiveness of me is... Nothing I need to take on board, you know. I, I focus every single day on every single session I do, what I do outside of the gym. That takes my complete focus. And uh, I, I really don't have time or, you know, have the energy to dabble in giving that any thought, you know. And that's to be expected. Kayla's the current champion. Uh, I, re I realize I'm, you know, going to come in as, um, as a big underdog to her. But, you know, we use that in, to, to my advantage. Yeah, for sure. And uh, if you beat her, um, obviously it's going to be a, a huge upset. Have you thought about that, about, about like such a historic moment, obviously handing, handing her her first defeat and also just pulling off, a, you know, one of the biggest upsets in, in MMA? Yeah, when I beat her, um, yeah, I haven't I haven't given the afterthought yeah. of what will come with all of that adulation, you know, too much thought. Um, you know, I, when you know yourself, uh, you're grounded, you're censored, you... Uh, you're prepared for anything because you know yourself and you know who you are, you know, with a win or without, in the sport, with a, with a platform without. So, you know, uh, I, I do realize things will get uh, much more intense, I'm sure, and a few more obligations uh, on the list. But, um, you know, it's, it's, it's the main thing is fighting, fighting well, winning. Yeah, so that's my focus. And, and the rest and whatever comes with it will be, you know, be what it will be. Yeah. And we were just talking off camera. You're six feet tall. Yeah. Uh, you know, you're 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 a big uh, you're a big lady, right? Most of the ladies, most of the fighters that Kayla has been fighting, usually 35ers or 45ers. You know, bulking up to 155 pounds, but you're natural at, at lightweight. Um, how much of a factor does that play in? Because um, you know, for the most part of, of Kayla's career, and, and not to her fault, she's been fighting smaller women. 
Yeah, no, now, um, you know, she's up against the true 55er. Like you said, I'm a big girl. I'm Samoan German Māori, you know, from New Zealand. So uh, we're built like that. Um, but apart from size, you know, size isn't everything. Uh, we've seen many of the smaller fighters, you know, uh, do well throughout the years. Uh, I've got the skill set. I've got the game plan and I've got, you know, I've got the mind to, to go on there and win and take out this tournament. So, you know, that is a factor and it plays to my advantage as well. Um, but uh, yeah, look, like uh, aside from that, I know I've got the work underneath me, the skill, like I mentioned, to defeat her uh, that on Thursday. Yeah. And last question, uh, your cousin Eugene Behrman, um, obviously the, the head over there at City Kickboxing. That gym's just been blowing up, it, and it's no longer, oh, you know, this, this new gym, City Kickboxing coming up. Uh, it's City Kickboxing, right? It's here to stay. It's got contenders all across the major promotions. Um, how was it like uh, seeing your family member, you know, enjoy all that success as well as, you know, th that, that project? I mean, it must be pretty incredible to, to have a family member and, and contribute so much to mixed martial arts. Yeah, 100%. Look, he's... he's um you know, the generation before ours who are here now and who are present, myself, you've got the Dan Hookers, Brad Riddells, Israel Desanya, all those, you've got Kai Kara, you know, uh, can rattle off many other names. Um, but, uh, you know, they were the generation before us, Eugene Berryman, Doug Viney, who are the owners of City Kickboxing. Um, this has been many years in the dark, many years of struggle, many years of no money, many years of uh, paying for their fighters to be able to fight in local promotions to what it is now. You know, we see the, we see the wins, we see the championships we see all the names coming through uh but uh this is this is many years in the dark so um you know the fruits of their labor uh coming through to see that to be a part of that at this time um is, is special man it's something really really i'm really uh blessed and honored to be a part of that um and under those men you know um they've created a stable uh where it's it's built on it's built on very core fundamental um, ideals you know so that's why it's successful first and foremost and then obviously they've got a team of coaches that they've brought on throughout the years and a stable where um, yet we have many experts in all the different fields um, contribute to the success of the gym and, and the fighters so yeah no I love I love um, I love those men um, you know I'll, I'll I'll go to war for them, you know, so, and that's very true. So, uh, yeah, the, the success that the gym's finally having, I mean, it's crazier than ever now, obviously, with success and with, um, what's the buzzword for the uh, clout? And yeah. all, all this is like, uh, comes more responsibility and less time. So, you know, grab and hold of one of those guys, and now it's like, all right, too famous for me. No, no, <laughs> they're, they're good. They're awesome. They're amazing, and um, I miss them, you know. Um, but uh, every single day, you know, and lead up to this, they were um, they were right there with me and instilling what we got to do. So, yeah, they're yeah. with me. I believe that's uh, what the wise uh, advice says, right? With more clout comes, comes more responsibility, well, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah. It's not all what it's cracked up to be from, uh, you know, what I've seen and the small taste that I experience in comparison to, to, to all the big guys there. So, um, you know, uh, yeah, it's, it serves its purpose, but, you know, I think, I think um, fame so much or attention like that isn't, is probably one of the more negative sides to it. <laughs> All right, Jenna, well, appreciate the time. Best of luck. Obviously, huge fight against Kayla Harrison here in the main event of the PFL playoffs on Thursday. Best of luck and looking forward to your fight. Thank you very much.